morning. So I get out with the dog for his morning constitutional and fuck knows what's happened on here. I'm sure I can see rats being in the bark as well. I don't know if it's a rat or a baby squirrel. That's the thing. Oh, it's so muddy. It's all like clay. Oh, God. My shoes are going to be in a great state when I get in. What the hell's going on? What are they doing? Hacking more trees down. Big, massive patch of mud. <laughs> that wasn't there yesterday. Ah. Okay, that didn't look like a squirrel. I think it was a rat, because it's just tried running this way and then ran off the other direction again. I think it had been too small for like camera to pick up. But I've seen that run from the other side of this muddy patch, all the way to over like near me over here. But it looks like it's got a bushier tail than a a rat. I'm confused. I'm just confused about everything this morning. I don't get it. What are they doing? This wasn't here yesterday when I brought him out. So confused. <laughs> anyway, yeah, good morning. <laughs> uh, we're trialling a new system in RRC at the minute. Where when stuff gets brought in, it gets separated into two piles on the inside straight away. Like the first pile. That weren't a rat or a squirrel, it's just run past me. It were either it I'm so confused. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, a new system in RRC. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted by this random creature that's running around that's like a hybrid between a rat and a squirrel. Anyway, uh, new system. When stuff gets brought into RRC, it gets split up straight away into two separate piles. One pile is bags where it's like mostly plastic inside it, and the other is bags where it's mostly like other stuff that's not plastic. It's like your paper and your card, etc. Last night, we had to have bin wagon come in to get rid of some of it. And that made, this new system made that job so much easier. Because we just got rid of the pile that were all the mixed recycling and kept the pile that were plastic. Because plastic's the one that's worth a lot. So that's where the money maker is in RRC. That's our bread and butter, plastic bags, bin liners and carrier bags and shit. So, uh, I think the system, while it, I can't say it don't work, because it might do, but all last week, more or less, apart from two days, we were out on yards, so stuff were kind of like accumulating and building up in there. We didn't really get to do much. So we haven't really trialled the system properly yet, but... It definitely works when it comes to emptying RRC, I know that much. Because you don't have to go through looking for the right stuff to chuck away and the right stuff to keep and separating it into two piles when you're getting it emptied. Which is a, a big thing. Because that's what's text like most of the time when RRC is getting emptied by bin truck. So kudos to Kyle for coming up with that idea, at least in that regard. Whether it works in long term, we'll see, because that's the only benefit we'll see in a minute. But maybe once we're back in there and not having to go out on yards, it'll work full time. So we shall see. Right, I'm going to get the dog home and probably have to wash his feet because he's just walked through all that muddy clay shit. And then I'm going to chill before work and then see if Danny is teching me because she said she might do last night. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> She's got kebab burps. <laughs> you just shut your fingers. I know I did. In the electric window. <laughs> I did. I had window right down because we were stuck in traffic and then when we started moving again the car were getting cold so I put the window up and I was trying to inch it up slowly like a bit at a time so I wouldn't trap my fingers and then still ended up doing it anyway. <laughs> no I did just move my hand out of the window. You just heard you go, ow. <laughs> ow. Yeah, like, we had a kebab on uh, night, well, day we had Friday, Wednesday night, and all morning yesterday, everything I had tasted a kebab. My e cig tasted like kebab. My energy drink tasted like it. It was horrible. That number plate of oysters, sausage, in German. <laughs> First. <laughs>
Uh, but yeah, she ate the rest of hers yesterday while I were at work, and now she has kebab burps. It's like, yes, you will suffer what I had to suffer yesterday. It was better twice cooked though. It was yeah. terrible fresh, but when I cooked it again, it went all crispy. It was, it was horrible. <laughs> we're not ordering from them again. Never again. They're a new place. We thought we'd try, and it's like, no. You'd think if they had the money to laminate all the menus. The, yeah. the That's probably why the food's <laughs> dreadful. The guy handed me the bag and handed me a menu laminated. I'm like, what the fuck shit is this? Unless they think it's some, you could use it as a plate. But if you got money to spend, invest it on the quality of your food, not laminating your menus. Oh God. I actually forgot to mention it yesterday as well, but yesterday was an extremely, extremely sad day, like for me especially. Like I know Danny's a fan, but yesterday, uh, my favourite writer, Sir Terry Pratchett, passed away. That's like, I, I almost feel like it should be a national holiday, because I absolutely adore Terry Pratchett. I did as a kid, and I love him even more as an adult. There's a lot of jokes I didn't get then, now I do. For his Discworld series of books is just some of the greatest literary work of the last hundred years. And that's not an exaggeration, lots of people love Terry Pratchett. He will be sorely missed. He's been suffering for Alzheimer's for a few years now, but he's carried on fucking writing. It's insane. He's just had other people like help him jog his memory and I think his last couple of books somebody else did the physical writing but he dictated it all to him. Rest in peace, Sir Terry Pratchett. Hopefully death will have come and taken you away to his domain. You know, living with him and Albert, having fried breakfasts every morning. Because that's everything you deserve, sir. The food is all gone, sir. We've eaten it. Just because we have food does not mean you can have any of it. No, it doesn't. But please, we've ate it. There is no more food. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh. <laughs> We've just had the greatest frozen pizza ever. That was really nice. It was only a cheap, like, cheap, I think, double, triple, double pepperoni, weren't it? Yeah. Double pepperoni frozen pizza from Morrison's, but it was, like, really thin and crispy. And it was just so good. Although the pulled pork one we had the other night were good as well. But that would have been better if it was thin. I've told you, sir, there isn't anything. Get down, you monkey. Hey, stop pestering, <laughs> you swine. We're thinking of starting a new business venture. And by we, I mean this one is going to start a business adventure. And I'm just going to reap the rewards. <laughs> because I do not know how to crochet. But we're thinking, well, Danny's thinking about starting to make, like, scarves and things like that. But scarves that are from certain fandoms. Um, I think, are, we, are you going to start with the Harry Potter scarves? Yeah. So like scarves that are themed around like Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw and start selling them on Etsy. Uh, so like a, a home business where Danny can use her free time to crochet because she enjoys crocheting and then we can see if anybody wants to buy the things she makes. There's other plans and other ideas and stuff but I think, you know, start basic and see where we go. Oh, fandom related. Yes. Lots of geekery. I want a Doctor Who one. I make your own. No, you can make it. Because I do. Gotta pay. No. <laughs> what? I haven't got anything. <laughs> what do you think? Good idea? Would you buy a scarf? <laughs> or would it depend how much they cost? <laughs> yeah, whatever you have anything you want. Why are you standing on mum? <laughs> you bugger. He is. He's a needy dog. An awkward needy dog. He's too long for his own good. <coughs> so yeah, scarves. Our new venture and other things in the future. I really want a Doctor Who one, but I also want a Gryffindor one. Hmm. We'll see what designs we can come they're, up with. They're going to be subtle though, so that you can wear them out and not look a little bit nuts. <laughs> I wouldn't mind looking a little bit nuts. <laughs> Well, uh, we will update you as we go along with the process. We're going to start an Etsy and this, that and the other and see what happens. But should be fun. But anyway, I'm going to end today's video because I am working tomorrow and have to get up early. So I think that's just about it. Comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. Other than that, cheers for watching and as usual, we shall see you tomorrow.